so excited for this segment because I'm really, truly passionate about this, and you're going to be too, I promise. You probably maybe have your veggie garden planted, but what about your pollinator garden? Well, Noelle Aiken from Petiti's Garden Center is here to teach us everything we need to know about pollinator gardens that are getting bigger and bigger yes, every year. Yes. And first of all, I love your earrings, little butterflies. Thank you. Which are very appropriate for this segment. <laughs> That's right. right. Let's talk about pollinators and if you didn't understand the scope of how important this is, mm -hmm. give us this statistic because it, it, it will blow your mind. Right, so one out of every three bites of food you take is due to pollinators. So Amazing. that is how vital pollinators are. I mean, if we don't have pollinators, we don't have food, you know? Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. So when you think I don't want bees in my yard, I mean, who doesn't want butterflies and hummingbirds right. and other birds, yeah. right? But we need, we need to have these flowers outside. Absolutely. We need to have these critters that we're attracting to our homes For and sure. all over. Yes, yes. So let's talk, how do we draw these beautiful butterflies, bees, mm -hmm. uh, birds, all that good so, stuff? Right, so you always wanna supply them with a diverse planting, okay? And we use annuals, trees, shrubs, perennials, herbs, even mm. some weeds, you know, if you leave some weeds go, it's like okay. dandelions. Like dandelions. I mean, we always see bees on dandelions, yes, right? They love dandelions, they love clover. So those types of things are really, really good for them and that diverse food source. So they need pollen, they need mm -hmm. nectar and all different types of plants. So that's always going to help them in the long run. Oh, I love it. All right. So we, we're looking at a lot of beautiful flowers right now. Some video of some wild flowers too that are out there. But if you want to bring some, look at that adorable little hummingbird. Right. So let's talk about this. This is fascinating. You were yeah. telling me about this a yes. little while ago. It's gorgeous because I said, is that a daisy? And it is. Is. It's just, it's an annual sunflower, but it's a repeat blooming sunflower. It's called Sunfinity. And it's just one of those cool breeding, you know, types of effects where now you have a sunflower that can bloom all through your growing season. Because I didn't know sunflowers will do the one beautiful pop and then you have to reseed them every year, right? Yeah, right. So sunflowers don't last very long in the fields and it's usually just one one nice flower and then I you know, love this it's gone. gorgeous yeah. gorgeous and daisies any type of daisy so when you see like a marigold marigolds in the daisy family okay. oh. zinnias bidens any type of daisy this is a perennial aster that's anytime, so pretty purple yeah so anytime you see a daisy it's going to be a great flower for pollinators the bees love them the birds love them um, and absolutely the butterflies love them oh, so beautiful. anytime you plant a daisy what's it's this great. one here uh -huh. this guy this is a red cardinal flower that's this one this is a native plant and i should mention native plants are great for pollinators too but so are non-natives but they're really good for native um, uh, plant material is really good for pollinators and this red cardinal flower, of course, has those red tubular flowers mm. and the hummingbirds absolutely Aww. love that for sure. Yeah. It really attracts them. I mean, it, it really does. truly yes. does. Any reds or oranges really brings them into the garden. The butterflies the hummingbirds. more? Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. And, and butterflies like bright colors too. So yeah, absolutely. Those bright colors will work for them. The kind of softer colors, the blues, the purples, the whites, the yellows, that's really good for the bees. So combination yeah. of colors really is great too. Yeah, and it looks so beautiful. All right, so what else, what is this right. here? Cone flower. so okay. you have cone flowers in all different colors now. Of course, the birds love the seed yeah. on the top, but the butterflies will land on this. The, the bees will check them out as well. So there's lots of little flowers right in the center and that's what they're going for, that nectar, that pollen yeah. that they produce for sure. Oh, so nice, put them by your windows yes. so you and your cats can enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, animals. That's what I do at my yes, house. Sure. So we're looking at the pollinator garden, some more information there as we kind of move along to yeah. some more of these great Butterfly, flowers. weed, and milkweed. These are really, really important plants, of course. Um, they, they help the monarchs. So if you're really focused on just growing plants for monarchs, you need to have your butterfly weed and your milkweed in the oh, garden for okay. sure. Because that's, that's all that they consume. That's their main host plant. And so you need those, absolutely. Wow. Real quick, and mm -hmm. I, we're being told to wrap, but uh -huh. just, just generalize what we've got over yeah. here. Yeah, butterfly bush, coreopsis, more daisies, oh. yarrow, lavender, um, fresh smelling plants. This is bee balm. This is in the mint oh. family. So it's going to have a great fresh smell, and the bees absolutely love it. In fact, oh, that smells so good. Yeah, so, so again, wow. those fresh smells 
wonderful, wonderful, especially for butterflies and for bees. They, they love that. So neat. Go to Petiti's. You're out and about at all of the stores, yes. mostly in Oakwood Village. Mm -hmm. But if you have any questions about pollinators and what would be great for you in your yard, ask them because they're so great with that. You guys really helped me out kind of getting up on my pollinators too. And I love it. So cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Noelle, Thank great you to so see much. you. Appreciate it. Tell everyone at Petiti's we said hi. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, guys.